you're going to go to the bottom left corner of the screen right here and then you're going to right click the start button so right click the start button and click where it says run and from there you're going to type this you're going to type ms config ms -N -F -I -G. and then you're going to click ok or press enter okay so right now once you have opened the system configuration tool you're going to go to this tab right here that says services okay so make sure after doing that make sure you click right here this field right here by doing that this will alphabetize everything so everything will be from A to Z easy to find and now after doing that you're going to look for these two services and you're going to disable them you're going to look for the Windows error reporting service and the problems report and solution service so now let's look for the Windows error reporting service so that should be under W so I'm going to scroll down Windows error reporting service and there you go the Windows error reporting service and so once you find it you're going to uncheck this box all right after doing that you're going to look for this for, for this service the problems report and solutions so I'm going to go under P to find that and here it is problems report and solutions and I'm going on check this box right here okay so after doing that you're going to press OK alright you're going to press OK and then restart your PC so if that was the cause of your problem if the Windows error reporting was the cause of the problem doing this should fix the issue so after disabling these two services and after restarting your computer doing that should fix your issue now for some people unfortunately that doesn't work like I said and oftentimes that is caused by iCloud so to fix that you need to remove iCloud unfortunately so to do that you're going to right click the bottom left corner of the screen again and you're going to click on where it says run and from there you're going to type in this field right here you're going to type appwiz.cpl so type appwiz.cpl the application wizard appwiz.cpl and then you're going to click OK or press enter okay so from now this will take you to programs and features and you will see other programs in your computer and from there you can if you have iCloud installed if you have iCloud installed look for it here if you have it installed then select it and then click uninstall right here so select it and then click uninstall right here okay now as I said there's often a complication to this for some people this problem is so bad they can't even do anything even though even though they know how to fix it even though they watch videos on how to fix this issue because the screen flickering is so bad they just can't do anything they can't really access uh, programs and features so what do you do well to fix this you're going to press ctrl alt delete so as soon as you turn your, com you turn your computer you're going to press ctrl alt delete and after pressing ctrl alt delete uh, unfortunately my screen recorder can't see past that screen so after pressing ctrl alt delete you, you should see a screen like this that says log, switch user, sign out, task manager and what you're going to do, you're going to go to the bottom right corner of the screen and then you're going to press you're going to press the power button, you're going to click the power button but before doing that hold the shift key so you're going to hold the shift key hold the shift key and then press the power button hold the shift key and then press the power button while holding it so hold shift key and press power and keep holding the shift key so after doing that you should see this windows will take you to this screen and from there you can choose to troubleshoot your PC and after that 
you can choose advanced options after that you can choose startup settings right here startup settings after that you can choose to boot to safe mode now if you boot to safe mode if you boot to safe mode you can follow the same steps as I showed here if Windows error reporting was causing a problem you can go to safe mode and from there you can disable Windows error reporting and if iCloud was causing a problem you can go to safe mode and uninstall iCloud so as you can see here to put to safe mode you're going to press F4 or F5 okay F4 or F5 so that is if uh, you have to use safe mode you, you only need to use safe mode if the problem is so bad that you can't even do anything all right and so this is how you really fix this issue if this works for you thanks for watching and subscribe for more